Hello, my name is Aran. Every day I go look at what's just come out on Steam, what's coming out soon, and then I dig a bit further for things that are not so easily apparent. Then I make some lists and present to you games you might be missing. Let's get started. Here we have Spelunky 2. What can you say about Spelunky 2? It's the sequel to Spelunky. And it looks pretty much the same. Though, I should probably add that uh, the developers did do a lot of work on it. It's not exactly the same as Spelunky 1. They've added a lot. They're listening to the community with balancing, even after game launch. And I've already heard some people call it one of the best games in existence. And it's only 20 bucks. So, what the hell. If you like roguelike action platformers, this could be the one. Okay, Phoenix Point is a difficult one, because firstly, it's from the creators of the original XCOM, and you can see the influences. They're definitely trying to do something new here, when they allow you to target specific elements of the enemy, so you can get different effects. And I did see some very early footage of it, and it looked buggy as hell, and a big mess. Obviously it looks good here, but playing it seemed to be very annoying. So what it looks like is they took it back, and reworked it, and the release date is now set to... 10th of December. Hopefully they fixed all the bugs until then. Though, honestly, since I've seen it like only a few months ago, I'm not really sure it's enough time. Maybe they should give it some more or try early access. I don't know. Anyway, I'm following it and I'm gonna look for footage when it comes out. Until then, I suggest you at least keep an eye on it. Humankind is from Amplitude Studios, the creators of the Ender series, and the Space and Endless Legend. I think this is trying to be Civilization, but on the even grander scale. I'm not entirely sure how this will come out, but apparently it's highly rated, and these guys know strategy. So if Civ is your style, then you should probably look into this one, especially if you've played Endless Space and Endless Legend. Set to come out in April of next year, currently priced at 50 bucks. Sable seems to be another weird one. It looks like Journey, if it was made with 1980s heavy metal aesthetic. Kind of giving me some Green Legend Run vibes, actually. It looks like a chill exploration game, but even from the videos and stuff we can see right now, the, all the pictures are from the videos, except maybe this one, I'm not really sure exactly what kind of game it is. But the aesthetic definitely looks interesting, and I like exploration games, so here it is. Set for release in 2021, no price yet. And as always, if you like what I do, please follow me here on YouTube, on Twitch, on Twitter, all at Saberrunner. Facebook is Saberrunner Gaming, and everything you can do to share, like, or subscribe would be very much appreciated. Thank you for watching. See you next time.